So we're going to make this connect for sheet out of Google Slides. It's really easy to do and fun and you can share it with your students. Students can share it with their friend and they can play it together. Right, I'm going to show you how to make it. So we're going to go to a brand new slide and I'm going to get rid of all of that. And then I'm gonna start with the background of the, usually it's the plastic board, but we're going to just use this instead. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So it's going to be similar to this one up here that I've got as my example, but I might just change it around with different colors and things. I might go and now grab the circle from Shapes, and that's cool. So I might make it big so I can actually play around with it. I'm gonna give it a different color, so maybe it's gonna be bright pink. Then I'm going to go into Shapes again, and then I'm going to Get maybe the sun let's see what we've got here maybe we'll make it that one or another color orange is kind of cool kind of clashes I quite like the clash let's move it in all right so that makes sense to me I'm on a max I'm on control and then I'm going to group it okay so now it's grouped together I can now shape it and it should go perfectly fine now I am going to duplicate this copy and paste and then I'm going to change the colors so this is going to be my opposition this might be green for instance purple okay so we're going to do that one we're going to do purple copy paste and we're going to move them over here grab them again copy paste move inside grab them again copy paste so we've got quite a few does it matter how many no just as long as there's enough for your students to use on their board all right so there's tons there this one again we'll go copy paste in fact they look like um counters from say a casino <laughs> and that's cool so you've got quite a few on each side now let's go and just grab a circle again i'm going to do the interior to this here I need to make sure they're about the same size okay perfect so we are going to now make the background yellow i'm going to make this white in the background i'm going to make the edge about two all right let's copy and paste Edit. Okay, so what I might do is just make that a little bit bigger that side so it fits nice and perfectly. Now all I do now is hold shift down and select all of these little circles. Command C, paste. And then lower it just below, paste again. And so on and so on until you uh, finish down the board here. So I'm going to try and even this up, this back this way, select everything and move it over. And so it is slightly off, but again, it's for kids. Now conceivably, I could take a photo of just this sheet without all the counters on it, go into background, into an, an, another the slide, and then make that in background. But I'm okay with this because I'm sure the students will be okay. So we'll just see if it fits over top. No, oh, interesting. So what I need to do, let's just go back one, is I now need to select all of these, and then I need to go to arrange, go to order, go to front. So now they will be in the front ready to go on the board now i need to do the same to these counters so we are going to go to arrange order front i am going to insert over here a jar or some sort of container where the counters can go or they just be perfectly fine as they are but just for fun sakes i'm going to do that we're going to go to insert we're going to go down to web and then i'm going to put jar clip Art. There's all these really lovely jars. I can go for a real jar like I have in my previous one or I can just go for a clip art jar. So I might just go for maybe this jar. We're going to insert and it's transparent background which is perfect for what I want. Make it longer. It's the good thing about clip art. You can chop and change it as you go. Now I will copy and paste and do the same to the other side. But what I will do right now is I'm going to put the jar behind the counter. So I'm going to go back up to arrange and go back. Same with these ones move the counters right in the jar we're pretty much ready to go for those ones right now I'm going to put in a title connect four now if you've got older students maybe you might want to say connect five but this is quite a well-known game connect four same color as the jar lids okay so we're almost ready now I'm going to swipe the instructions from my previous one and then put it down below and I can fill that in with a color of my choice. Okay, we're pretty much almost ready to go. So the last thing I want to do, because we're going to share this with my friend or my brother or my sister or my cousin, whoever wants to play the game with me online, copy paste. We are going to use these as text boxes so that, that we can talk to each other. 
and do the same plus move the transparent over okay so we're almost ready to share this with my friend up here and I'm going to do that all right so let's go and see how it looks other me getting in there now, as you can see this is my other account and I'm pretty much in as well using another account it's hard to show you both but as you can see there's that one there and I've got my other account on another browser on the other browser I'm going to type in this and of course the other me is going to respond Okay, so as you can see, this is a really neat way to set up your own Connect Four. In fact, you can get your students, your children, your grandchildren, or the kids you're looking after if you're babysitting to make their own Connect Four using Google Slides. It's completely free, it's creative, and it's a game which kids love. So I hope you enjoyed this watching this video. This is Mel Lara from Classroom Faves.